Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Today, I'm going to be bujang in my everyday classic. These top ones are seven by seven and these bottom ones are seven by 24. These are gonna be like dates and headers and this is gonna be the actual writing room. And I want to do like this really cool dark sky fade similar to this that I've done with my markers over here and then we're gonna add in some stars and some constellations so I'm really excited to see how this turns out and um, so let's just get started I'm gonna trace all of these and erase all my pencil marks and we're gonna be ready to go first up I'm just gonna be grabbing my dark gray mild liner and I'm gonna create this little shadow effect on the side of each of the boxes it kind of makes them a little 3d ish just a little bit uh, I'm just going down the sides of each one of the boxes leaving a tiny little bit of space at the end of each corner to kind of give that 3d effect um, now I'm just after this I'm going to actually do my little marker up at the top I actually recorded it but I don't know what happened to it so boom there it is it's done I just ombre three of my markers um, from the Arteza Everblend markers, I believe. And um, I just ombreed them all together and blended them. Now I'm gonna be taking my white jelly roll pen and just adding in some little dots and little stars up here at the top. I'm gonna show you how I do this one side. I'm not being too specific with this, just adding a few dots, adding a few circles, and then some little bitty stars. I'm really sorry that I don't know what happened to that portion of the video, but we're just rolling with it. So um, I thought this ombre turned out really, really pretty. These blues were absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. So I'm going to finish up this side and give you a close up. And then I'm going to do the other side and give you a close up of it really quickly. So here is a close up of all the little stars and the little bitty dots. And now this side. And this is what it looks like all finished. Okay, so now I pulled out my free spirit sticker book. I kind of wanted to add some bullet points, but I didn't. I didn't really know where I wanted to go with this because the boxes, I made them extremely tall and skinny. So every box and every sticker was kind of just really too wide so I'm gonna start by filling in my date headers just writing in the days of the week and the actual date so just do Monday and then one Tuesday then two um, just keeping it really really simple I'm gonna do the other side just the same so just finishing this up. I also made that last section a section for notes. And obviously it's not a day of the week, but you guys know what I mean. So I'm just flipping through, trying to find something that kind of goes with this blue. There's a lot of navy in here that I really, really liked. And then I found a quote and cut it in half from the Gold Star Quote sticker book. This video is all over the place, guys. <laughs> so so I'm just adjusting this quote sticker that I cut in half and bringing it up just a little bit so everything is kind of all in the same place on both of the pages. And then I'm going to grab my Free Spirit sticker book and grab some little star icons to put on each side of the quote just so there's a little something else up there with it and it's not just the quote. I wish I could was our I wish I was like a super fancy letterer because I would have wrote something really pretty up there or something but we all know my handwriting is the worst so I didn't even attempt that um but yeah I'm just adding a few little stars up here just so the quote yeah isn't so empty or up there I don't know what I'm trying to say but now I'm just kind of looking for anything I can kind of spruce up these boxes with and just flipping, flipping, flipping through this Free Spirit sticker book. So I'm gonna grab one of these checklists or these little to-do banners and put it right here. And then I'm gonna grab my mild liner and just touch the little part that overhangs into the gray area. I'm just gonna color that in really quickly. 
Now I'm gonna actually take one of the markers that I used and put in some bullet points, just for like top three of the day. I'm gonna do this in each daily box and my notes area. And then I'm just gonna take my blue one and put a little line above my days of week headers, just bringing in some more color. This was really about the only reason for that. Now I'm just kind of looking at everything and kind of seeing what else I want to do and where I need to add a few things. So I'm going back to Free Spirit Sticker Book and I'm gonna grab my checklist. And I'm going to basically mutilate it. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut it down as slim as I can get it so it doesn't take up a ton of room in my box. Cause remember my boxes are really long and skinny. So I trimmed it the best I could and now I'm gonna put it in that little to-do area. I'm gonna trim it down and then flip it around. So just like that. And then I added a few boxes into my notes section because my daughter's birthday is coming up on the 8th. So I put on a little reminder for that because we're actually having their party on the 7th. So I just needed a little area for that. And then I'm gonna add a few other little things on Wednesday and that is gonna be it. As always, picture at the end and thanks for watching. Bye guys.